Morning. So it's day four now, uh, test two in a few hours. Um, I think everyone's a little bit sleepy today. It was really hot last night, so I think everyone struggled to get to sleep, but there's a lot of tired faces walking around like this one. <laughs> Morning. Uh, sat here with Jack. You all right? Yeah, I'm great, mate. How are you yeah. feeling about today? Very good. A bit warm last night, but you know, it did cool down in, in later yeah. on in the night, so. I think I went to sleep just in some shorts and woke up with two blankets on, so it definitely dropped at some point, but now it's red hot again this morning, as you, as you can see. Yeah, so we've got a field session this morning, haven't we, about 10 o'clock? Yeah, another light session like we did before the um, the first game on yeah. Friday. And um, just reiterating what we've gone through on our video analysis and um, making sure that we're all on the same page going into yeah. this one. Yeah, and then we're going to come back to the accommodation quickly, get a bit of lunch, and then it's about an hour's drive, is it? An hour and a quarter? Yeah, I think they said an hour, yeah. Yeah, down to Toulon, and then we're down um, playing there in, what's it called, the Palace of Sport, or the Palace de Sport? It's just a venue to me, mate, it's yeah. just a venue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're down there in a, in a new place, a different place, which apparently it's going to be huge. It's a massive uh, arena, with pop, uh, you can get about 500,000 people in, so... It's going to be quite good, it's going to be interesting down there. Right, we're back at the training ground, well, back at where we played the first test. We're going to have a bit of a push out this morning. Sorry about the horrendous music. That's what the, the youngsters in the team like to listen to nowadays. Yeah, but we're back at the back at the training venue. Got all our chairs. I nearly got taken out, which has been coming then. Got all the chairs lined up now. Uh, everyone's sorting the wheels out, throwing some balls around. Just gonna have a nice push around, get nice and loose and focus on some things for tonight. And then we go again at four o'clock. Scrappy do. We go again at four o'clock today, down in Toulon. Just finished the captain's run now, as you can see. Everyone's getting the kit out and get on the wagon and the wagon's gonna go straight to Toulon for the game this afternoon. Uh, we're gonna head back to the accommodation, get showered and changed and just chill out for a few hours and then, and then try and get into game mode. Uh, just a gentle little push out there for about 45 minutes. There's a lot of aching bodies. I don't know if you can see, but everyone's hands are chewed up. Do you know, like, got blisters on fingers, blisters on hands, Do you know, everyone's shoulders are aching. So, yeah, that's the reason it's a test, because everyone's everyone's battered and bruised, but then we go again, don't you? That's the whole point of it. Yeah, so we're looking forward to this afternoon. We've worked on a few little bits we thought we could tweak, and, yeah, looking forward to it. Hopefully I'll speak to you at the game. So, uh, game's just finished. We've just showered and come out of the sheds. Um, so, we, we lost We lost the game in too long. 50-46 uh, it was in the end. It was a really tough game. It was a lot tougher than Fridays. It was one of those games where each team took it in turns to be really dominant. So, we were up against the line a lot and the French just kept smashing through and then and eventually they'd get over the line and then it'd reverse. And then we'd, we'd have like a really good purple patch where we'd cross over for two or three tries as well. And it was one of those ones where it came down to the it massively came down to the energy battle and I think in the end they just had a little bit more energy than us and they just kind of crossed over with two we were leading with two minutes to go and then they crossed crossed probably with two minutes to go and by the time they'd taken the conversion there was only about 26 seconds left so it was a bit of a Hail Mary kick so yeah it's a disappointing result for us disappointing result for us here not a disappointing tour I mean we won the first test um, we've done loads as a team do you know the team has come on incredible since the World Cup. We'll come into France and beating the French on home soil. It's a massive achievement we can take away and, and the way everyone's bonded and the way everyone's performing together is, is the, probably the biggest success of this trip. So, um, yeah, we're gonna pack up, head back to the accommodation.